As a litigation partner, I spend a lot of my time advising clients in relation both to trying to avoid cybersecurity breaches and also handling breaches if they occur. And the uniting theme uh, around both those issues is making sure that the company has taken all reasonable steps it can to try and avoid a breach, but also to handle a breach in an efficient and effective way if one should happen. The key challenge I've found uh, advising corporate boards in relation to these issues is making sure that everybody around the board table has the right information and understands that information in a way that will enable them to participate in the discussion going around the table. So what you typically see is information thoroughly understood by the Chief Information Security Officer uh, and the Chief Information Officer, but maybe not understood to the same extent by the rest of the board. And I think the trick is making sure that the board understands enough of that information to be able to have a sensible and informed discussion about managing risk and systemic risk and the potential impacts that any cyber or data breach may have on the company as a whole. I think the most significant and positive aspect of the SEC's proposed rules is that it will change the discussion uh, around cybersecurity from largely reactive to proactive. So the disclosure rules will require boards on an ongoing basis to have substantive informed discussions uh, about relevant cybersecurity uh, and digital risks that affect the business. I think we see a lot of variance between companies in how they're doing on creating value from digital technologies. Some are doing really well, others are just starting the journey and others haven't really started the journey yet. But what I do see is the unifying factor of the companies who are getting it right is the ones who have made sure that the whole board understands the information it needs to in order to have a sensible conversation about general and systemic risk management. If I had to identify a couple of key practical points, the first would be board composition. Boards need to make sure that they have enough individuals around the table who have detailed knowledge of the relevant digital and cyber issues. The second practical tip is making sure that those individuals share their specialist knowledge in the right amount of detail and in a way that the non-expert members around the board table can understand. And it's only if you get both of those practical issues right that there can be a proper informed discussion that is capable of protecting the company.